Promotion giver, there is someone here. The enemy tied four different chains on you. In your two hands and your two feet. And there is a demon behind you, using them to draw you back. The implications of those four chains is this. Is that wherever you go, either to the north, the south, the east, or the west, that you can never find them. The Lord asked me to tell you, he said, time and season belongs to me. He said, not only will I break the chain, he said, I will increase you in four dimensions. And they will be grinded into power. Father, we give you praise. We have come to celebrate your amazingness today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for your blessings already you release. This short exhortation, Lord, this is to build up our faith. Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we will pray. You may please be seated. God bless you. I assure you, within the short next few minutes, I will be landing now. You told me chapter 10, verse number 17. You told me chapter 10, verse number 17. He said, For the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no God. Look at the dimension of the explanation of amazing God there. He said, He is Lord. He is God of gods, he is Lord of lords, he is great, he is mighty, he is awesome God, and there is no partiality in him. I pray for you, you can raise your variety. With all these dimensions of God's greatness, 
you will show forth in your life in Jesus' name. Verse 21 of the same Tarot, chapter number 10 says, He is the one you praise. Have you praised him today? He said, He is the one you praise. Referring to verse 17, the one who is Lord our God, who is God of gods, who is Lord of lords, who is great, who is mighty, who is awesome. He said, He is the one you are praised. He is your God who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. I'd like you to raise your two hands as you are seated and say, Father, louder and better, Father, with my very eyes, let me see your wonders in my life. Can you pray that prayer for 30 seconds? Lord, with my very eyes, let me see your awesome wonders in my life, in my family, in my job, in my career, in my business, in everything that concerns me, let me see your mighty wonders. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we we'll pray. Let's just stay on one point. The point that Jesus is the full manifestation of the amazingness of God Almighty. Mary, despite the fact that an angel appeared to, to her, all her life, she and her husband Joseph were surprised at the amazing things that they constantly did and was revealed to them without Jesus. Luke chapter 2, verse number 33. And Joseph and his mother, Mabel, had those things which were spoken of him. I pray for you today, by the hands of God's amazing greatness in your life, even your parents will fear God in your life. I said, even your parents will fear God in your life. I said, your parents will fear God in your life. Your parents will fear God in your life. Luke chapter 4, verse number 22. Luke chapter 4, verse number 22. And all fear in witness and wonder at the gracious words which proceeded out of his mouth. And they said, Is not this Joseph's son? Not only were Mary and Joseph amazed at the wonders of God in the life of Jesus, the neighbors, the people around, were also amazed. The amazing greatness of God in your life will not only surprise your parents. I call heaven to witness today that by the manifestations of God's power in all your life, the neighbors of everywhere you live will testify that God is on your side. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. Your amen can be better than that. John chapter 7, I read verse 15. John chapter 7, I read verse 15. And the Jews marvel, saying, How knoweth this man let us have on never land? When Jesus read his book, even the Jews who had struggled for several years to reach where they were, they were surprised at what God had done. When God steps into your life, we have often said many times that you need experience in all situations to go on. And I shock you. You need the amazing God more than experience of life to go on. I pray for 71 of you that will raise your right hand to God. The strength of God's favor will be stronger than the strength and the anger of experience in your promotion. You rise by diligence, but you fly by favor. Are you listening to me? You go above promotional level just by diligence. But when God picks you up, you become a high flyer. Raise your right hand again as I declare upon your life. In the midst of your generation, you will be an exceptional high flyer. Your amen can be better than that. 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 Matthew 15, verse number 31. Matthew 15, verse number 31. It's so much that the multitude wondered when they saw the dumb speak, the men made all. The lame to walk and the blind to see the glorified God of Israel. I remember one certain day 
I was in the bed. I shared this testimony this morning with your landing up to break your castle out. And this driver was just reckless. As they were fashioning him, he grew angry. And then he began to boast of his chance. He said he has solidified himself. That he will drive the bus. If the bus has accident, they will not be able to find him. Because a bill will carry him. And people began to shake in that commercial bus. And suddenly I said to the golden voice, I said, driver, if now your papa phone you, finish this kilometer. And if there's anything after 240 and you don't use it, you are a madman. I said, I assure you, me and every other passenger, no scratch. They will not be able to pick your bones and your flesh when the accident happened. Immediately, he went below 80. His lips could not open again. I began to say, driver, our journey is far. Can you increase the speed? A Shinjetaya driver, he couldn't talk. Why? Because when I opened my mouth, something hit him. And the useless set of his chap turned on him. And he became as calm as a cold water. I pray for you from today. Because in the place of praise, God is lifted. I decree, in your place in life, you will always be lifted. I say, you will always be lifted. I say, you will always be lifted. You will always be lifted. You will always be lifted. So not only will your family, your parents be afraid of the wonder of God in your life, not only will your neighbors, according to this text, multitudes, 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 will hear of the greatness of God in your life. And they will wonder in the name of Jesus. I said they will wonder in the name of Jesus. I said they will wonder in the name of Jesus. I said they will wonder in the name of Jesus. But because Jesus is in you, then you are set for amazement in life. And I'd like to decree upon your life. Because Jesus was an, was an amazement, you are also a candidate of an amazement in life. Can your amen be better than that? Can your amen be better than that? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter, chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly, above all we can ever ask or imagine. Now, why did God have to put ask and imagine? How? Why? Because he knows. That many of us, when we come to the place of prayer, several factors limit what we ask. The failures of the past limit it. Your certification limit it. Because you have asked before, it didn't happen, limit it. Some people come and say, God, many times when you say, God, if it pleases you, you are actually speaking doubt. So God had to put that clause there beyond what you ask. He also knows your imagination can limit you. Are you listening to me? He had to put it there. So when God chooses to show forth his greatness, he breaks the stronghold of your imaginations and even your acts. From today, can I pray for you? Miracles you never ask for, God will give you as a gift. Blessings beyond your age, God will give you as a gift. You know, thank God for this particular meeting. Friday was my birthday. I I wouldn't have mentioned it, but because I wanted to say something. I saw one or two things. That one or two persons, not close by, but from afar, had to be to the same time. And I was wondering, why this happens? Why this happens? I want to pray for you to be better than that. That is me. Ore, the Yanu. Do focus. Can we be a full in God's way? Only one to be a little bit. You always come true for me. Amazing God. Fire. Always come true for me. Amen. 
singer. You always come true for me. Take it from the beginning now. Amazing 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 Always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. Amazing God. Shall we rise on our feet? You always come true for me. Amazing God. Amazing God. Amazing God. You always come true. Amen. I want to share one testimony, then you will pray. A few years back, almost going to about 18 years now, so a some friend of mine came to my place in the Devon County. I should be two thousand and two. So to come and see the face of God because you are preparing to travel out of the world. He had tried several years and it came at a time where I was involved in a boss accident. I was only surviving. Now, our mother, the Lord, when the day was to me, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner was being brought to her house, from her house to where I was staying. And then she was also checking on me. And this man didn't notice that. So, I think the third day, he was planning to wait on God for seven days. On the third day or so, he just suddenly If not because I have allowed my head to grow, I will show you this car here. I was going to survive the bus. This car is not long from here to here. He sat down. I was now looking at him. Oh, I don't make jail over the bar. I don't get a lower. Do you know he finished the food in the pula? You know, when you have assurance of provision, you will not be bothered that the kitchen is empty. <laughs> so, oh, Jeto, oh, Shongo, Rani, all right, oh, my God, I went to town. I drew a tick down. So, you don't get him, Ojay. All along, go and load it back, but the boy, come and travel out, put his shirt on for me. And the following week, he went for a visa interview and he came back with his visa in his hand. What am I trying to explain to you? Listen very carefully. In the place of grace, you send your request to God directly. Because God dwells in the praises of his people. He doesn't delegate angels, he doesn't tell angels. When it comes to prayer, he sent angels to come and collect it from you and take it off. But when it comes to praise, he comes by himself. The Bible says he dwells in the praises of his people. So there is direct entry. So after praising God, it's one of the best times to ask him for anything. Are you listening to me? There is no angel to say, he may you the lonely I'm on top of my faithful. There is no devil to hinder you because in the place of praise he has no access to come and raise theory or judgment against you. He has no access to come and raise condemnation. In the place of praise, the devil can never raise any. And listen, let me shock him up. In the place of praise, doubt has no strength. Are you listening to me? He has no strength at all. 
Because God is seated there. And again, before you pray, praises go to heaven. It crosses clouds. Nations are across clouds. So wherever to answer is, you will reach your destination. Stretch out your two hands. And say, Father, louder than that, Father, I have praised you with all my heart. It is time for my rising. Can you pray in the name of Jesus? Can you pray? Lord, I have praised you with all my heart. It is time for my rising. It is time for me to rise. It is time for you to break protocols on my behalf and lift me. It is time to remove all obstacles and promote me. It is time to remove all hindrances and take me forward. Lord, I have praised you. Let me rise. I have praised you. Let me be fruitful. I have praised you. Let my womb produce children. I have praised you. Let my promotion come. I have praised you. Let my marriage take place. I have praised you. Let my financial breakthrough occur. I have praised you. Let all my requests be granted. Lord, I have praised you. 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 Thank you, righteous Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. Amazing God. Amazing God. You always come true for me. Amen. Amazing God, amazing God, you always come true for me. Amen. One more time, amazing God. Amazing God. close your eyes. Stretch forth your two hands. As I'll be praying now, if you are in this congregation and you are not yet saved, make sure you move to the altar as I pray for everyone. Or you are past And you need to come back to God. As I pray for everybody now, just take a step of boldness where you are, with your two hands stretch forward and come to the altar. Lord, you are the amazing God. You are the one we have praised. You are the one we have adored. You are the one we have magnified. You are the one that we have lifted up your name. Therefore, Lord, I pray for all your children. Any name of situations, circumstances that is threatening their life, threatening their career, threatening their business, threatening their home, threatening their marriage, threatening their health, silence it in the name of Jesus. Any principality or powers of darkness, that is saying they will use the evil powers in their hand, in their hands to destroy this one's destiny. Lord, all power belongs to you. That's why you are the amazing God. Silence them in the name of Jesus. Any enemy, human enemy, structural enemy, positional enemy, office enemy, neighbors who are enemies, friends who are enemies, superiors who are enemies, Lord, whoever they may be, that is saying that they will make sure that this one's light do not shine. Lord, I ask you today, silence them in the name of Jesus. Anything in their life that is causing limitation in their health, in their life, in their career, silence it in the name of Jesus. Use the manifestation of your miracle to show your wonders in their life in the name of Jesus. Do it in the name of Jesus. Do it now in the name of Jesus. Do it now in the name of Jesus. Do it in a big way in the name of Jesus. Do it in a large way in the name of Jesus. Do it in a high way in the name of Jesus. Do it in a rich way in the name of Jesus. And with the same mouth that you have praised God today, you will testify of God's goodness. With the same feet that you have praised God today, you will dance for your own testimonies. With the same body you have danced and shook before God today, you will dance to say, come and see what the Lord has done in my life in the name of Jesus. So shall it be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll pray. 
Amazing God. Amazing God. Ah.